Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'll be playing this Super Toxic 2.5 Minor Mortar deck. And we have do got the Little Prince plus Evil Bomber, which are the, probably the two most OP cards right now. And the cycle's really fast. I'm actually using the Cannoneer because it truly fits better with this archetype. And I see a lot of top players like Muhammad Light. They're using the Cannoneer as well, absolutely. And... Bahamalai does prefer Fire Spirit over Little Prince on some of his accounts, but I do have a Little Prince here because I think it secures the air and ground better. And you see that Little Prince just did a really good job on the Ram Rider. And I'm just gonna minor here. I minored at the very strange spot because I doubt he has no NATO because no Infernal Dragon plus Ram Rider deck has NATO. Okay, that, that first shot actually got two bombs under the tower. That's very good for us, and we're just gonna mortar here, and oh, that was a bad ice spirit, but I think I'm gonna ability here just in case his low prince pops the ability, and by way killing his ram rider. Okay, solid defense, but I'm not gonna go in right now because I'm a little bit down on elixir, but after that zap, I think we're even, and I'm just gonna minor again right now since he's not playing anything. Hopefully he doesn't catch it. Okay, he doesn't. He actually has the Evil Skellies plus Evil Knight. Okay, I'm gonna use my normal bomber onto the Evil Skellies. And that poison is not gonna do anything because it only needs one shot to clean off the Evil Skellies. And now I can place my Little Prince at the back. He has no poison for it. I'm just gonna minor again, I think. Okay, hopefully he doesn't catch it. Again, <laughs> okay. Oh, he does have the magnite, but yeah, that was not surprising. Cause what else could he have with Infernal Dragon? Okay, I'm just gonna um use my ability to tank. And although he played the knight, but my evil bomber still got multiple shots. And just gonna ice spirit plus the evil skellies here for his magnite. Okay, he's zapped, and I'm just gonna use my log plus the low prince ability. I think he's gonna pop his. Okay, great. His low prince is not gonna break through my guardian. Yeah, it's gonna get one shot by the cannon here. He did get one shot though, but yeah, he's wowing just like me. I never thought that defense would be so simple and so easy. Yeah, but yeah, he is wowing. And I'm not sure even I know what I'm doing right now. Okay, he poisoned again. I'm just gonna use my low prince. Oh, this deck is so easy to play with. Um, but you do have to have some psycho deck like experience, but I don't think that's uh, a really hard requirement. Okay, I think that's a great poison there on um, both of his tower. Okay, the, okay, the Ram Rider actually jumped, so that's one more shot on the Evil Knight and the tower. I mean, the oh, Normal Knight and the tower. Okay, that's actually a good game. Wow, what a toxic lineup. Okay, hopping to our next matchup here, and by the way, I do believe it's like been a while since I uploaded my last English video. Although it was pretty long, but for the people that are like waiting for my new English videos, I do have to apologize because I've not been uploading them uh, really frequently. Yeah, I'm kind of busy these days preparing for my midterm. Okay, I'm just gonna use Skelly. Uh, I'm Skelly's plus the Ice Bear here. Hopefully that um perfect counters it. Oh no, I think I should have been a little bit faster there. Yeah. But I promise I'll be back with more videos when I just finish my exam. Okay, he has the firecracker. It's actually hockey cute. Oh no, that was bad luck. The firecracker just dodges it. I think this actually isn't a really good matchup for us since um, we're frustrating defending his... Oh no, I think I put that a little bit late. Or a little bit to the left. I mean to the right. Yeah, this how did the hog get so much damage? Okay. Yeah, because I missed the building. I should have been more concentrated there, and that definitely was a bad play. The hog saw it, but then it goes towards the princess tower, because like when the hog saw it, it was already charging to forward, and it was closer to the princess tower at that time. So, um, oh no, he's going to... Um, the hog plus the evil eye again. I'm just gonna low prince here. I think I'm gonna more. Oh no, <laughs> yeah, that's game. I was hesitating whether to use the ability or the more to pull, and you should definitely not hesitate like playing a cycle matchup. Yeah, 
that could be a reminder for you guys. Do not hesitate when you're dealing with like hogs or wall breakers or lumberloon or any of that. You just play your defense solidly and that should be okay. But if you hesitate between two answers, you're not gonna get anything down and yeah, you're not gonna get anything in time. That was bad play by me and oh no, I should have earthquake I mean I shouldn't have mortar on the left since you can just earthquake it and also damage our tower. Yeah, that's absolutely GG's. Okay, just finding our third match, and I'm gonna be more concentrated in the latter matchups. Cause I don't wanna lose really dumb and make the video very dumb for you guys to watch. Or also be at zero value. Okay. If this was an evil bomber, I would just evil bomb at the bridge and get two bombs per shot. Yeah. I can teach you guys how to get your bomber to splash the tower twice during every shot because it's actually using the range between the like the evil bomber and the first enemy locks on yeah i think this is a minor mortar like mirror matchup he's using the queen version and i think i do have a good matchup here because the queen does uh like the cannoneer does a great job against the queen and does better job against the miner too. I don't think it's gonna protect me here. Okay, yeah. You see how I get two like bombs on the tower? You just place your evil bomber at the bridge a little bit early when their troops are walking here. So when the evil bomber stops at the bridge and it hits the enemy using its farther furthest range, then that's gonna be two shots. I don't know if I explained that clearly. Yeah, because it is a little bit hard to describe the detailed placement and also timing, but I can do more of these um, interactions later on in the game just for you guys to observe what's going on there and how to accomplish that. Okay, that bomber is going to get one shot, but he ignores it. I do think this could be an opportunity to um, let us get some damage on both sides. I'm not switching lanes, but just getting some damage on both sides in case we need to switch as the match like the matchup goes on yeah you can attack both lanes and okay that's a really hard push i think i'm gonna um ability here just to have a tank for the evil knight plus the evil mortar i'm okay i'm just gonna oh no yeah i predicted my ice spirit there so i think that evil mortar still needs to be logged and Okay, I'm just gonna miner at the back there. Okay, those guards didn't catch the miner, and so he has to place a knight too. I'm just gonna bomber onto the guards and maybe use my ice spirit too, because that's gonna take three shots to kill them. Okay, I am gonna pop my ability to tank for the queen's ability there. I don't want my little prince to die so fast. And if the little prince lives to take out the queen, okay, great job. Now I still got my 3 card cycle and I think I'm gonna poison here because he may predict me with yeah the knight. But I am gonna use my evil bomber here though. I think that's gonna be Is that one shot? Okay, don't think that is, but um it's gonna force out something. And yeah, I'm just gonna minor again. Okay, he didn't catch it. I'm just gonna bomber onto the guards. It is always a good interaction. Okay, that was strange. A evil knight at the bridge in front of the guards. But okay, I'm just gonna use my um poison the bridge share. Okay, that was a bad lock not hitting the miner, but I don't really think I can hit the man miner at the back plus the mortar at the same time, but yeah. Oh, oh no, no no, I thought that was her that was her skeletons. Yeah, but that was actually the evil bomber. Oh no, I wasted it. Yeah, they kind of look a little bit similar. I know that sounds a little bit dumb, but okay, I'm gonna predict more at the bridge, but he actually miners. And I'm just gonna um, log out the queen to get some damage and also delay his three card cycle. And okay, since he played the knight, I'm just gonna um, miner at the back and then use my evil skeletons to catch his miner. I'm not catch this damage down and um, I'm gonna. Miner, miner on the corner again. Hopefully that he doesn't catches it. Okay, I'm gonna your bomber at the middle here just to tank for the 
um, mortar and log plus spider, I mean log plus poison should counter the queen perfectly and also the the mortar. The poison just started out. And I think I need some more tanks on defense here. Okay, I'm just gonna pop the ability there just to Okay, make sure the mortar gets no damage. I'm gonna minor plus the evil bomber at the bridge here. Oh no, he used his cards on the left or right, so that's gonna be one shot. Okay. Evil Bomber is so OP. Okay, hop into our next matchup here. This guy is pretty good since he has the um the tournament badge, top K, and plus 100 times classic challenge. But I'm not afraid of him, absolutely. I face like people having higher ranks than him a lot. And there's actually no like no point being afraid of people just seeing their names or their like badges because they're also just a player playing the same game as you having the same elixir at the start what you should be focusing on is how to play this game right and perfect like as perfect as you can so you won't regret it okay i think he might have some kind of recruits piggies here since he has the recruits plus the zappies Okay, I'm not gonna line up there just because I saw. Oh, he does have the wall breakers. Because I think the <laughs> recruits are standing in a strange position, so I'm not sure if I'm getting the line up there. So I'd just rather save the evil bomber on defense, and that turned out okay. Okay, evil recruits could be a little bit of a problem since we do not really have a lot of like ground units, but the little prince ability plus the. Um, evil skellies plus sometimes the miner on defense should do a great job. Like, if I make no mistakes, then we have the matchup here. But you have to make no mistakes, or else you're gonna get destroyed by the evil crews. And he just wasted his arrows there. I don't think he is going to have a really good cycle for this. Okay, but he does have the skelly drags which are in the air, and my skellies cannot really do anything. But, oh, He's actually got the bomb tower, and that's a good interaction for him since he splashed my little prince. Yeah, kind of unfortunate, because I didn't really expect the recruits, like Zappies and Warbreaker stack to have bomb tower as well. Usually they have the like the fisherman or even the cage. Oh no, he actually has the mother witch and. Yeah, that was a, an early ability by me because I needed the, the ability to take out the Goblin Gang and I think I may need to log again. And then maybe I didn't need it. Okay, that is going to connect if I don't respond. So, again, just gonna mortar here for defense. Yeah, good news, taking out the Mother Witch. I'm not gonna minor at the back here. Hopefully he doesn't catch it. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm just gonna... A mortar at the bridge here because I cannot take any more damage and I don't want to waste my evil skellies on the skelly drags so I'm just going to use my mortar to tank and also I'm going to use my log here oh no he's going for the evil walkers and I'm just going to use my bomber here okay that was actually a bad arrow since he um, killed the opportunity to like get some pigs out of the mother witch so okay good to know that I spirit plus the canyon shot doesn't kill the skelly drag, so I need to respond some more. And I'm just gonna um unlock here and I may need to have the pop the ability on the right side just because the evil crews are charging. Okay, I'm just gonna poison here and oh no, my skelly's died and that should be a little bit of damage for him. Okay, I did place my skellies down, but that's still a lot of damage. He's back in this. And I'm just gonna need my ice bear to cut the both of the skelly drags, but I think that's still gonna do some damage since um, my tower didn't really did a really good job on cleaning on the picks. Okay, he does go for a recruits again, but these are the normal recruits, so this should be easy peasy. I'm just gonna use my um okay, I think I need to lock on the left there and use my ability on the right. Okay, that's clean defense on both sides. I'm just gonna use my bomber to snipe the little prince. I mean snipe his mother witch. And I use my um, mortar here because I don't want the skelly tracks to get locked. Oh, okay, that was actually a bad bomb tower because it didn't really um, hit my mortar. But that should be a lineup, right? One, two, three. Wow. 
I think the Evil Bomber just won us the game there. Okay, I'm just gonna use my poison on defense for the one wish there, and also I think I may need the poison there, just in case, and I think I've got this. Okay, great job defending. Yeah, he is predicting my minor, but I'm not really um hurrying on it because I've got the damage lead and I only what I need to do is just make no mistakes. Okay, I'm just gonna use my lock there since the evil Warbreakers got damaged and I should fully counter everything. Okay, really clean defense there. And there's not really much you can do if we play it perfect. Okay, hop into our fifth match maybe, but that is honestly not so important. It's actually really really funny to play with such a broken deck and destroying the opponents. Some of them just say, wow, wow, how did your character just defend that so like easily? Yeah, and I just wow with them because I'm not sure what I'm doing too. Okay, this guy does have the battle ram, which, which is a strange archetype since he has the poison and the knight. Um, what kind of thing is this? Because I don't think usually battle ram decks in today's meta really run the poison or any big spell. They just ban at the bridge. But this could be P.E.K.K.A. bridge spam actually because P.E.K.K.A. does run some big spells like fireball and poison i mean or poison you absolutely should not have both and you also have the archers so it could be the pack up bridge spam version with the knight okay i'm just gonna okay that was a bad um what well, battle ram uh, this should get two shots yeah you see the second bomb just um damages the princess tower in this front corner and the third bomb bounces it on the back corner that's where we want to play the evil bomber, just at the bridge and let it walk a little bit into the front. And then when it's at the exact middle of the bridge, then it hits the enemy at the furthest range, then it should get two shots. Which is really satisfying to watch. Okay, he does pack at the back there, so I'm absolutely going to use my little prince too, just to bait out something. And I think it's going to bait out a spell since he has nothing to go through our little prince, okay. He does have his poison down, and oh, let me see. I'm actually gonna try to pop my ability there, but it seems like it doesn't really work. Just gonna use my evil bomber here to clean up the the things there. Okay, I'm just gonna use my evil skellies. Yeah, the evil skellies did some damage and then got zapped, but it's still a really good trade. Oh, that actually protect the evil bomber there. I wasn't really expecting that, but okay, I'm just gonna try to. Okay, that was bad log. Because it's going to activate his king tower for him. Yeah, I was trying to like um, lock back the ghost so the evil bomber might get one shot. But that was too greedy. Yeah, I'm just going to use my mortar at the bridge there because I'm not really sure what sh I should do. Okay, he does have evil archers this cycle. Okay, I'm just going to poison everything there. Wow, that's such a great poison. You see, okay, the evil bomber actually splashed the archer on the left. So now we're going to... Okay, I'm gonna predict something on the... Okay, I actually tanked for the evil bomber. Okay, that's one more shot. Okay, wow. I didn't really... Like, I can't really tell what happened there, but... Yeah. The buyer did something, absolutely. Okay, I'm just gonna use my bomber again, since he has some poison for it. Okay, I'm just gonna use my mortar on the other lane there. And then use my ice spear to freeze everything. And the bomber plus can to clear everything. Everything. <laughs> And I think I'm gonna evil bomb at the bridge again. It might get two shots. Okay, I think that's one. But one more, really? You're telling me the knight got splashed when it's already at the bridge? Okay, that was absolutely crazy. GG's. Okay, finally finding my next matchup here with this Japanese guy, and which he also has a top K finish in the Royal Tournaments. Okay, I'm just gonna mire here, first play, and. See what he has. Oh, he's got the evil bomber too. This should absolutely be something interesting. Um. Okay, he's just golems at the back. It could be that um battle hero deck with the uh, evil bomber plus the barbs, and that should be an okay matchup for me since I have really fast cycle, and I'm not really scared of his barbs since I have the evil bomber. Okay, he does have the. Um, Skelly Drax though, and that was actually not a really good ice bear by me. 
I should have freeze the red side Skelly Drag because it died slower and it actually took out my Little Prince. But okay, he does have the Night Witch, so um, I don't think he has battle here anymore. There should be some kind of um, other version of the Golem. Okay, he also has Evil Bats. Okay, this is a little bit tough since he's playing some kind of Swarm deck with the... Okay, he actually has an A2. I'm just gonna... Um, I spare here to kite the Skellies and then use my log on the defense. Yeah, what I was supposed to say was... Uh, what I meant to say was this should be not such a good matchup since he has so many Swarms for my Calendar Tower. We do have the Poison, but if he knows how to deal with this deck and go double lane and... Yeah, that should be some problem, but I think that's okay since I have the uh, fast cycle with the poison and also I have the Eo Skellies on defense too, which clutches up onto his golem and destroys it really fast. Okay, I'm just going to play Little Prince here and a little bit awkward placement. Oh, he has the fireball, so I actually have to be a little bit careful if my Little Prince gets a little bit damaged or... Yeah, when he just NATO fireballs it. Yeah, I should be a little bit careful on defense, but NATO plus fireball does cost him 7 elixir, so I don't think he's going to do that often. Yeah, that's the power of the Little Prince. It always gets a positive elixir trade, and it's probably getting another nerf next season, which I think is understandable, because it truly is very popular. It's not as strong when it used to be, but it's still very popular and fits the meta so well. And I'm just gonna poison onto the um Nightwish plus the golem there. Yeah, since uh let me see. I'm just gonna minor there and use my ice bear to probably maybe get some damage. Okay, great. I think I'm gonna poison this, but maybe not the best poison since now I have to deal with his um Nightwish. Okay, I'm just gonna ability here. You know, I think he got a little bit late. I think the one of the bats might have took out taken out my little prince. Yeah, but that's okay since oh no, that's not really okay. I need to deal with the bats. Yeah, the bats are really annoying. No no no, he's gonna get a one shot. Okay, the night witch didn't really get any damage, but I'm now I'm going to like ill bomb at the bridge and there should be some more damage. Okay, that actually did more than I thought. Okay, I'm just gonna poison on the evil bats. No, two of them got to the left lane. Oh no no no. no. My my guardian is gonna betray me here, and I'm just gonna use my. Oh no, the ice spirit jumped on nothing but two bats. Okay, I'm just gonna um use skellies there and maybe use my evil bomber to kite because I have nothing else. Okay, I'm just gonna use my ice spirit there. Hopefully it jumps. No, I'm just gonna use my. Okay, that should be a little bit. Oh, no, I think I still have got this. I'm gonna evil bomber. I mean bomber to distract the skeleton king, and then should be okay. Okay. But now he's um gonna fireball NATO me, but he doesn't have the fireball, so I'm gonna cycle two minor poisons maybe on him. Yeah, those are sort of bad bats, and okay, he now has the fireball, but it's too late. GG's, a really good win there. We made some mistakes on the defense, but yeah, it was a little bit tough defending like golden bushes with swarms, but this deck is really broken. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, so see you in the next one.